Hey there, Silver Age Guy here, and today I've got a free book unboxing from eBay and a short tribute to Steve Ditko. So, um, I've bought from this seller before, and I have to save you the painstaking cutting and slicing and opening of the box. I will speed this up. And, of course, now it's in bubble wrap, which is nice. Get the bubble wrap off and see what we have here. He also packs his books in um, poly bags, and not being a big fan of poly bags, I like my art. Um, so I'm going to cut them up, pick them out of the bag, and see what we got here. So I got three books this time, and the first book that I got is um, Strange Tales number 141. And this book is from uh, February of 1966. Um, it's got Jack Kirby cover and interior art. And of course, um, Kirby, uh, just fantastic artwork. I'll just flip through a few pages here so you can see it. You can pause if you want to get a, a better glimpse. And I just want to check those staples and make sure they're okay on those older books. And yes, they are. So it's a good one. Uh, I also got Strange Tales number 113 from October of 1963. This also has a Jack Kirby cover. And it's really beautiful. And in this issue, we get to meet uh, Torch's first girlfriend. And this is interesting because this has a story by Joe Carter, which who is actually uh, Jerry Siegel, uh, the creator of Superman and DC legend. Uh, he used a pseudonym at some time in his career for some reason. Oh, and there's Torch's girlfriend, first girlfriend of many. And uh, this book is really nice. Let's check the staple. And it looks good. Okay, now the third book I got is the one that I really wanted um, from this seller. Um, I paid a little bit more than I normally pay for books, but this is a really nice white copy of uh, number number 62. Um, I love the white covers. And, you know, the, the difference between the, this cover with all the colors on it and the simple white cover that John Romita did. Um, just outstanding. So happy to have this. And the interior looks really good too. Really happy with it. So that's uh, that's a good thing. Um, another John Romita masterpiece, as I said, and just flipping through the red hair, the Medusa red hair on these white pages looks just fantastic. This is really a nice book. Way it's, it's way better than a lot of the books that I own in terms of condition. So I'm very happy to have it. And we will check the staples again. We have a red on the hair. And yes, the staples are perfect and in great shape. And let's look at the back cup. Oh, there's an ad for a new book, Spectacular Spider-Man. So yeah, so those are the three books that I got. And while I was flipping through, I happened to notice um, in that Strange Tales 113, a short Ditko story, non-superhero. Um, and I was just thinking Ditko passed away recently. And what fantastic, only Ditko can do this kind of fear face. <laughs> I mean, it's, he's one of the most unique artists ever. So RIP Steve Ditko. Um, so now it's time to put these in the display case. So we got to remove the books I had in there before. And then we put these three new ones in there and they look fantastic. So that's it. Thanks for watching.